Nicholas here from Spiral Shell Defensive Arts. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. I often talk about bread making, but I haven't actually shown you guys my process. Instead of normal bread, or I guess, I guess bannock, cooked on the fire, we're going to do something, uh, a little variation on that. We're going to add some wood sorrel to it. I'm going to chop the wood, wood sorrel up into some, like a fine powder, maybe even use a mortar and pestle on it. And then we're going to see if I can make like a dessert, lemony tasting bannock. Oftentimes, when you're in the woods, you don't have the luxury of having really nice, sweet uh, flavors that come naturally, at least, and other than when you bring it with you. And I really like wood sorrel. I love how it has a fresh, lemony taste. And it's uh, when you have some in the woods and you're on a long walk and you find some, it's really lucky. We have some wild edibles here on the yard, so we're going to pick those out. And I'm going to mix it on the back porch. We're going to add it in there. We're going to cook it in the oven this time for the sake of keeping it in a controlled environment and see if it actually works. Okay, so this big stalk here is wood sorrel. We're just going to take a couple of these seed pods off. Gigi, would you mind to hold them for me? Oh, sneezing. Oh, horse sneezing. <laughs> All right, so far we've got these seed pods. Okay, let's do a little bit of, see if we can get a change with the leaves and some stems over here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And yeah, let's keep looking. Let's see what we got. How about Ooh, this? I'll just have two of these. I'll have two of these. Okay, go for it. And I know there's plenty in the backyard too, isn't there? There's an ant on you. Yeah, no big deal. He's doing his thing. Mm -mm. Right, how about, hey, don't eat while I'm doing it. I need to save these. <laughs> Killing me. I'll just do one more pod. Okay. Uh, mm. So let's take these and then we'll go run off to the backyard and get the rest. So I'm going to show off some of the stuff that was in my bag that was on my mess my mess kit. Not my mess kit, my food food bag that I actually didn't show off to you guys. I just mentioned the basics. I didn't really get into all the stuff. But there's some my soybean oil in this bivy sack. Spatula. A dishwashing rag and a drying rag. Silverware. Oh, my fork fell out. A bunch of soy sauces in here. Dishwashing liquid. I've already shown you my soup stock. Also got prunes in addition to my raisins. Turmeric and black pepper and salt. I think I already mentioned that. In this bag, more soy sauce, mini wheats. There's the dry milk. It says cornmeal because I originally had cornmeal in it. Baking powder. So we're going to be working from this uh, inventory. Oh, it's empty. Garlic, black pepper. Here's the flour. So, first things first, I'm going to be doing this by memory. Let's just get a tablespoon. Oh. One, two, three quarters of one cup. is the baking powder. We're going to do about half a tablespoon. Not that much. So we're going to do a half tablespoon of salt. Get everything right. I guess before I throw the water in, I can chop up that wood sorrel. How about that? Sound can good? I chop up the wood sorrel? You can help me take off the, the dirty roots on the bottom. Okay. Can you help me? There you yeah. go. Let's go with that one. Ew. Yucky. 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 <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Be careful, they have sharp thorns. It's a wood sorrel? It shouldn't. Think... Well, in the roots. Oh. oh. Those are little rhizomes. Okay. Let's get that knife. A 
tiny little lemon flavor. So we're really gonna we're really gonna put a lot of effort into chopping this. I want it to be really finely chopped. Yeah. You really want to chop that stuff. We need it to be like into miniature pieces. M more than miniature. We need it to be not humongous. All right, let's keep it going. Next, let's throw this into the mortar pestle. These seed pods look tasty. Oh, there's a big old root. I have to get that out of there. I couldn't do the, that one. Oh, it's no big deal. All right, let's get that into that one. Some more seed pods. All right, let's get at it. Mm, let's keep let's keep folding it up on itself, mm. and then we'll chop it. Okay. Okay. Make sure Be these careful. are all together. Yes, ma'am. I sure will. Be careful not to cut yourself. That was what I was going to say. Understood. I assumed that's what you meant. Yeah, there's these little baby seeds in them. I see tiny little white stuff. Yeah, the little white stuff is the seeds. <laughs> Still the rest in the mortar pestle. Let's see what we can do. Can get I crush it? I'll let you do it a little while, that's fine. Okay, thanks. I'll set aside my tea. Let's make you me so I don't so I want to save some tea for later. Go for it. Thanks. Fresh. You can do it. At least the water's still warm. That's good. That's what I needed. You mean hot? Actually, it doesn't have to be hot. I was not done doing that. Sorry. Hmm. I don't actually want it to be hot. I just want it to be warm. Okay. I knew it was hot because you took your finger off of it. I was just testing it. Let me see. So, Ow, it's there's definitely the, hot. There's the flour. Obviously, so let's wait until she's done doing that. We forgot this little bit here. Alright, let's toss it in there. Looks like this looks about done. Mm hmm because I really am good at that. I agree. I think you are. <laughs> So we're going to throw this in right after we put on the water. Yeah, we're going to throw the water in, then we're going to throw this in and try our best to uh, mix it all together. Just going to have a couple sips of the tea tea. <laughs> okay. Okay. Water. Just a little, just to get it going. Wood sorrel. Oh yeah, I forgot to add the oil. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> well, it was sitting right in front of me. I should have saw it. But it's 100% definitely needed. Alright, I'm just going to eyeball it there and good to go. Alright, we're getting there. Almost ready to start smushing it. Alright, let's get started. Throwing dough around. You know what this looks like? What? Looks like a, a cheese, a cheddar biscuit from Red Lobster. Got the herbs and cheese in it. Kind of yeah. reminds me, what it reminds me of. Mm So I guess since we don't have a rolling pin, we're going to be creative. Okay. 
Good dog. Okay. Good. And you just do do do. Man, your hands are dirty. <laughs> Get close though. Almost done. I've been do doing a lot of inside too. out stuff. You want to do it? Sure. Your hands are going to get dirty. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good. <laughs> nice job. Like a butterfly. Let me see this a second. Try that. About time. I wanted to do the oil thing. Can I try? Yep, good. Nice. And it reminds me of like a taco. <laughs> well, yeah, it looks like a big tortilla, doesn't it? Yeah, tortilla. That's what I meant to say. Good. Alright, I think that's about as flat as it's going to get. What do you say we go take it inside? So here's the bannock that looks kind of like a, like she said, kind of like a piece of tortilla. Mm, We're going to yeah. take it inside and... Oops. And then it's just... Yeah. We're going to poke some holes in it and put it in the oven. It's kind of hard to see the holes, huh? Wood soil's covering them up. Good. Let's give it a little flip. Wow, it's perfect. So that was 450 degrees at 20 minutes exactly. So here we go. Success. Wood sorrel bannock. I'm really impressed. I didn't expect anything from it, but I came out surprised and I'm very happy. Stick around, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.